Well, hello there, guys. I thought it was about time that I updated you on this little one right here. She turns seven months old tomorrow. I don't know exactly when this video is going to go up, but she turned seven months on the 11th, and we just got done filming her minimalist summer wardrobe video. Um, and depending on when this goes up, you guys may already be able to see this nursery reveal, my girls' nursery reveal, my older girls'. Um, and so if you guys haven't yet, make sure you go check those out. I'll have it all up in cards for you. But she is seven months tomorrow, like I said. Um, and I'm just gonna talk a little bit about how she's doing. So she is grabbing everything right now. That is the biggest thing going on with her is, and she's a ham with the camera. You'll see when she sees herself, she starts like putting her head back and forth like this. Yeah, yeah, you do. She reaches for everything. Like you literally can't hold anything within her reach or have anything within her reach. She's going to grab it and put it in her mouth. <laughs> So um, she's doing really good though. We started solids. We were doing baby led weaning. I did a video on that if you guys want to see it. Her favorite foods are anything with like a rice type consistency. So rice, quinoa, um, crumbled tofu, like scrambled tofu we'll make and she loves that. She loves noodles, chickpea noodles. Um, she seems to like asparagus and we've done tempeh with her, which she was okay with. We haven't actually done a lot of fruits yet. I've been keeping her mainly on just like veggies, different proteins and things like that. And done a ton of fruit yet. At her last appointment, her six month appointment, she was measuring like 70th percentile for height, I think it was, and about 50 something for weight. Um, so she is definitely healthy as can be. Um, look at these chunky legs. She's got them. She's in six to nine month clothes or six to 12 month clothes. Um, so she's doing really good growing. She's breastfeeding great, which is like a sigh of relief for me because I breastfed Revelyn for a really long time. I think it was 17, 16, 17 months, but Airily just quit at six months. And so I was worried that was gonna happen with her. And it did not. She is, loves the boob. She's all about it. <laughs> yes. And say I, say I want it right now. You mentioned it. Now I want to eat. She sleeps pretty good for the most part. She'll go down around like 10, wake up at maybe four to eat, and then she'll wake up not until like eight or nine. Um, but she has random days in there where she'll wake up a lot, like every 30 minutes to an hour. It's not consistent though. Like it'll just be like last night she did it um, where she woke up just a ton for some reason, but it won't be the entire night. It'll be like for a four or five hour stretch for some reason. She just keeps waking up and then she'll go to sleep and be out for a while. Um, so she occasionally has nights like that and I don't know if it's like teeth shifting, getting ready to come in and just like bothering her more that night. But most of the nights she's a very good sleeper. Um, yeah. She mainly makes these kind of sounds, but she has said mama and dada. She's a little cranky right now, so I probably won't be able to get her to do it, but she is saying hi. I'll insert footage from a vlog that I got it. Um, she actually said hi for the first time at her six month appointment to a girl that was in um, the waiting room. Also to add to sleep, she is getting ready to move into her own room. So she has napped in here quite a few times, um, but she has not slept overnight yet. I have something coming for her bed before we do that. Um, but she is going to be sleeping in her own room very soon. And then with EC, I've gotten a lot of questions how she's doing with elimination communication. A lot of you guys know we do EC with our kids, um, which is basically where we just um, teach them that just like they can communicate that they're hungry or that they need a diaper change um, or that they just need to sleep, they can communicate that they need to pee as well. Um, she is doing really, really well with that. She pretty much always wakes up from a nap with a dry diaper and then she'll pee in the potty. We We've done some night EC with her. Um, that's actually new with her. I never did night EC with my other kids, but I have with her a few times. She will vocalize if she wants to use the bathroom. Um, you kind of have to play order of elimination with that. Um, if she's you know not hungry, she's not tired, and she's cranking, um, then she probably wants to go on the potty, and she usually does. So we're still working on teaching sign language with her for eating and for EC. We've decided for EC, for using the bathroom, we're gonna be using a nose touch, um, just because it's easily differentiated. <laughs> You know, there's there's a sign for toilet, but it's too close to shaking hands for all done. It's too difficult as well. But she's getting a little cranky. I just wanted to give you guys a little update on how she's doing. Um, and we will see all of your wonderful faces. You want to say bye? You want to say bye? No. She wants to eat and take a nap. All right. We will see you guys in our next video. Bye.